Hello, friends. Welcome to the first week of February. And today's class is going to uh, work a little bit different because we've got some uh, new friends in our class uh, this week. But uh, one thing we're all going to start out with and do together, first thing is a value drawing assessment. And uh, my friends who uh, have been in Ms. Solich's class since the beginning of the school year uh, may remember when we did this way back in week four, okay, when we had that, remember that, uh, that circle, that sphere that you had to uh, shade and everything? Well, I'm going to show you what it looks like, um, especially to uh, our new friends who uh, have never seen this. Um, so I'm going to go into my Schoology little s purple stripe here, and I'll go to our art class, and we'll go into the folder um, where the video that uh, we are watching right now is in, which is inside of our orange week 14 to 17 folder. Um, but uh, here we are, phase two, catch up work day. All right, so I'm gonna go into there and um, you'll find this inside of uh, your orange folder. And the top choice is the video we're watching now. And then right below that is the value drawing mid-year assessment. We're gonna start with that. I'm gonna open it up and so everyone can, can see it. I'm gonna first I'll open the PDF so you can see what it looks like. It's attached right under the directions there. You will see uh, this sheet here. Okay, so I'll go back now and read the directions. Okay, using the markup tools on your iPad, add shading to complete the drawing so that it shows multiple grayscale values. So think back to our lesson on making grayscales, okay? I haven't taught you all of the things yet for this, but I will very soon. So we will take uh, this assessment a third time closer to the end of the year where I know you're all gonna nail it. All right, so don't worry about it. Don't stress about it too much. This is not for your grade. This is more of a, a teaching job thing for me, okay? Um, you don't have to worry about it, but I do want you to do your best, the best that you can. All right, so number two in the directions, use shading and grayscale values in your drawing to correctly represent the direction of the light coming from the sun on the worksheet. When your drawing is finished, take a screenshot of it. Remember that's pressing the power button and the home button at the same time, that'll take a screenshot. Don't just press the done button up in the corner, it won't save your drawing. And then once you've taken a screenshot, you submit the screenshot to this assignment post right here, the value drawing mid-year assessment assignment post. So I'm gonna open that, that PDF up again and remind you how to open up the um, markup tools. You go to that blue square with the arrow pointed up. That's right up there in the top corner um, that I just clicked on. Go down and find markup, click on that. And there's your markup tools, um, right? So you can press that rainbow colored thing. And that whole top row here is, look at that, it's all grayscales. So there you go. You know to use your, your grayscales uh, colors to fill this in, the grayscale values, sorry. Um, so there you go. And then here's your different drawing tools, okay? Um, and of course, as you know, you can change the lightness and darkness on them as well, and the thickness and thinness of the lines. Um, so I'm going to just uh, get out of this worksheet here, and I'm gonna give everyone a, a few minutes to uh, complete that assessment, and I'll pause the video here, and then I will explain um, what we're doing next. Okay, my friends. All right, so here's how it's going to work for today. All right, because we've got um, several um, students from many uh, other classes, like Miss Hockey's class, Mr. E's class, uh, Miss Betcher's class, um, have joined us now. Uh, now that we're in phase two, um, so 
uh, all of these other classes were at different points of the 3D table for two project that we're on. So we need to take a day to get everybody caught up to the same page. Okay, I know uh, like Miss Betcher's class, they already finished the project last week. Okay, so if you haven't finished it yet, you get a um, little bit of extra time to get it done. I would take advantage of that. All right, but what I, the lesson I will be, um, the video I will play to the whole class uh, will be the um, week 16 video, how to make the table, okay? Because uh, Ms. Hockey's class did not get that lesson yet. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that lesson um, the same way we have for previous lessons where I pause it after every step so we can all work together. And of course, I know uh, many of you already did that part of the project. So I have um, some things that you can do um, during class today um, while we are getting caught up and making the table for our sculpture, okay? And then um, next week, we will all finish the sculpture. Like I said, I know Miss Betcher's class already finished it. Um, so they will also have some additional activities. The students from, uh, actually there's only one student from Miss Betcher's class, but I will have some additional activities that they can do uh, next week while the rest of us are finishing up the 3D table for two. Anyways, let's jump right into showing you um, what my friends who don't need to do the week 16, uh, making the table uh, part of the 3D um, table for two project, what they can do. So we're gonna go right back into Schoology here and go down to in our art class we're going to go down to the uh this folder again that this video is in that phase two um orange folder that's inside of our week 14 to 17 um cluster of folders so you go into there and there's a white folder at the bottom there under the value drawing assessment that we just did um, my friends who don't need to make the table Click into there, and there are uh, there's a video up on the top in case you forgot how to um, draw on a PDF and take a screenshot, which you all sh uh, probably don't need because you just did that with the value drawing. Um, then there's the assignment post under that optional art activities, right there. Click into that, and there are three options of worksheets that you can do. There's an outer space uh, worksheet. Uh, it looks like this, I'll open it. <laughs> there you go. There's room to draw right on the PDF and you're just going to draw a um, outer space scene. Use your imagination, be creative, have fun. Planets, spaceships, asteroids, comets, satellites, you name it. Whatever you can think of that you might find in outer space, put that in your drawing there. Okay, that's one of your options. You can pick just um, one of these to do. You can pick more than one of these to do if you have time during class today. And um, if you turn them into this assignment post, you get extra credit. So that's good. So you will get credit for your work. All right, so I'm gonna go back. Let's check out um, the other worksheets. So the middle worksheet is one called uh, Weird Weather. All right, that one you might recognize um, also as a uh, warm-up sheet that we've done in previous years. Um, here we go, let's go to it. And here's the Weird Weather worksheet. It's a snow plow and you need to finish the drawing. Um, show me, what is that snow plow? plowing out of the way. Is it snow? Is it something else? Imagine a strange storm dropped something out of the sky. School appropriate, of course. Um, and uh, it's covered the streets, it's covered everything, and the snow plows have to get it out of the way. All right, you're going to draw what's going on around that snow plow. What are they freaking out about having to plow out of the way? That's another option that you've got. Um, and then the last worksheet is a, um, the whole worksheet is covered in directions. So you'd want to use a 
sheet of paper, I'm sure, from your sketchbook uh, to do this one if you choose this one. But it's how to draw different kinds of flowers. And you might also remember this as a warm up worksheet. Um, and you could make a garden, a big field of flowers, whatever uh, you like um, with your drawing here. But it, it shows you some step by step uh, directions. There's easy um, directions and there's more, cha whoop, more challenging ones. You decide which one you want to do. The easier ones, they've got that little arrow um, that says easy in them that points down to them and they have like A, B, C directions. The lettered directions are more challenging. Shows you how to draw a rose, a sunflower, and a daffodil. Okay, so you decide um, which of those you want to do, or if you want to do multiple ones of these. Again, these are options for my friends who did not make the table, uh, my friends who need to do the week 16 lesson. So my friends from Miss Hockey's class previously will be working with me, and I will play the video um, right after this, and we will get started on that. So I'm going to go ahead and end my screen share, and now everyone um, knows where they're going and what they're going to be doing for art class today and by next week we will all be on the same lesson and we can join in together all right friends good luck